graffiti writing, graffiti letters, can show a lot of rhythm and movement because of the way that the writers will make letters different sizes and have them going in different diagonals as they go across the page or the wall. A lot of times graffiti writers will start off planning on paper, lined paper, copy paper, and they want to practice their ideas and sketch them out before they do anything bigger. This one I did and it's my cat's name, Ruby, R-U-B-Y, and then I added some flares and some other things. I actually finished this one out with marker, uh, watercolor, a little bit of white paint, and probably some Sharpie. This one is my first name. It's a little bit sharper. This one is really rounded and curvy. This one I wanted to have more sharp. So this D, I, A, N, E with some arrows and things. This one I'm starting to color in with marker. One of the nice things about marker is you can follow the shapes and movements of your letters. So if I were going to color in, say, hmm, the A, I could use my Crayola marker. I'm going to show you some more things about Crayola markers. And get those lines of the marker marks to show the same direction as the letter. I'm not going to color it in all rough. I want it to show the shape and movement of the letter. Okay, anyway, all right, once I get started on something, it's hard to stop. Some of the basics about graffiti letters, and often when I read graffiti, I can't read it because I can't see what the letters are. So I'm gonna make something that's legible and I'm gonna use a short word, uh, art. Some steps that make it simple or relatively easy. So if you start with what I call stick letters and do them light, keep in mind I'm doing this on the camera so I can't keep it too light, it has to show. I'm gonna spell out what I want. I'm gonna have it go different sizes maybe, some flares, uh, ups and downs, different diagonals. That's the basics, that's the stick letters. Then I'm going to start thinking about how I want to thicken it up. Basically, think tracing. I'm tracing the outside of my letter and I haven't quite decided how it's all gonna go I'm making this up on the camera it's just more fun for me that way so I'm going to trace around that a and then I might even that's overlapping it's good to have some movement I don't like that some thicks and thins. Add some interesting ends to the letters. Now you can go online and look up a lot of graffiti fonts and there's a ton of graffiti tutorials. And a lot of times I just like to see what I can come up with, but it is fun to look and see what's out there. a lot of erasing. And I want this arrow to come back in. Actually, now that I think about it, it would be more fun to have this arrow come all the way around and be part of the T. But that's how you get ideas while you're working. And then that's why you just need lots and lots of paper so you can keep changing your ideas. There, A-R-T.